AMD is getting ready to release possibly the greatest CPU ever created. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Jawa. Jawa's mission is to be the community for safely buying and selling PC parts at a reasonable price, offering low fees and great customer service, which I can definitely attest to as I personally bought this RTX 3070 from Jawa anonymously, and not only did it arrive quickly, but when I ran into an issue, they immediately replaced it with a flawless substitute and asked that I only send the old one back after I confirmed the new GPU worked great. And the best part is the price I got this card at was well below a other listings I could find anywhere else, likely thanks in part to Jawa's much lower seller fees of 9-12% to depending on when you join. So if you're interested in buying or selling PC parts on a platform with low fees and great customer service, be sure to click the link in the description below and watch out for some of my hardware that'll likely be popping up very soon. All right, so Zen 6, that's what we're talking about today, and specifically the biggest boy you can get. Yes, we're talking about the 24 core monster with X3D cache. Now, there's been a number of leaks leading up to the creation of this video, and we now have enough information to try and go ahead and throw together exactly what the CPU will look like in terms of specs, as well as what it should perform like. So let's dive right in, first starting off with the specs. Now, according to pretty much everything that I've been seeing online, it looks like these new CPUs are going to be produced on a far more advanced node. They are throwing around the possibility of an N2 node. Now, if you don't know what that means, it's essentially just going to allow them to pack a lot more cores, run it at higher frequencies, and possibly give you higher IPC or instructions per clock, allowing for more power efficiency and throughput. And the one we're going to talk about today, the 10950X 3D, well, it should actually have two of those new core clusters, each of which are going to go from eight cores per core cluster all the way to 12 cores or a 50 percent increase in the amount of cores that are going to be available. So you put two of them together and you're not talking about a 12 core CPU. You're talking about a CPU with 24 cores and 48 threads. Now, due to its newer node, it's likely also going to be targeting close to a six gigahertz boost clock, at least on one of those core clusters. And it's also going to likely give you, at least according to the latest information, at least 10 percent higher IPC. And if you do combine that with the 96 plus 96 or possibly 192 megabytes of cache, you could be talking about actually over 200 megabytes of cache. In fact, to be more specific, 288 megabytes of cache. Now, I do want to let you guys know a little disclaimer here. We don't know for sure if AMD is going to do what they've always done and only give you one CCD with the X3D cache for extra gaming performance, or if they're going to give you both CCDs this time or core clusters with that extra X3D cache. Now, the benefit of giving you both CCDs with X3D cache is that even if Windows or a game gets it wrong and puts the game on the wrong CCD, you still are going to get maximum performance. And there could actually even be some applications out there which do benefit from the extra cache, even though most probably won't. So in the past, AMD has chosen not to give you both CCDs with X3D cache because it would cost more and they felt like it wasn't worth it. However, there is a possibility after all of the feedback for multiple generations that a lot of people have been screaming about how they want both CCDs to have extra X3D cache, well, they may actually finally give it to you. Now, do we know if that's going to happen? We don't. So that's why I'm saying potentially up to 288 megabytes of cache, but at the very least, you should get 192 megabytes. So 192 to 288, either way, that is a huge increase in the amount of cache as, well, you're getting more cores, and with more cores, you get more cache. That's just the way it goes. And I will also let you guys know that there is talk of potentially improved Infinity Fabric, as well as better updated memory controllers that'll allow for 8,000 mega transfer DDR5 right out of the box a very substantial increase over the 6,000 that we get today maximum. And who knows, maybe it could even be faster. As I'm hearing, it's going to be a pretty substantial update. But now let's talk about the performance. What should you expect out of a 24 core 48 thread monster running at 6 gigahertz? Well, in previous videos, we did cover the 10800 X3D and the 10850 X3D, which are going to be, you know, potentially 10 and 12 core variants. And those are definitely going to have substantial improvements over the 8 core variant. But now we're talking about 24 cores versus 16 cores in the 10950 X3D. And I think you're going to actually see an even larger improvement because if the memory controller and the fabric has been improved, well, the core to core latency going from one CCD to the next is going to be improved even further than a CPU with just one CCD as there's not going to be as much communication between a bunch of different stuff going on with the well one cluster of core type of CPU so this is actually going to be a huge deal for a CPU like this with multiple CCDs 
For that reason, I think you're gonna see, first of all, let's talk the price. I think they are gonna up the price because whether or not they give you multiple CCDs with X3D cash, which I hope they do, well, they are gonna be giving you a substantial and a very substantial leap in the amount of multi-core performance due to the huge increase in the total amount of cores. And without a ton of competition from Intel right now, I think AMD is gonna feel comfortable actually raising the price. So I think it'll go from 699 to 799 at launch. I do believe the price will drop pretty quickly, but we don't know for sure at this point in time. But if you are willing to shell out that much for the best CPU probably ever created and something that's probably gonna hold up really, really well, for both the gaming as well as multi-core performance. Well, I think it's actually gonna be around 25% faster than the 9950X already in terms of gaming due to the higher IPC, the higher clock speeds, as well as the improved x cache, the improved memory fabric and memory controller, as well as memory speeds. All that's gonna combine, I believe, to around a 25% increase just doing some simple math. And this is actually even being a little bit conservative. Now it could end up that they miss their targets and a little bit less, maybe it's only 20% or it could be a little bit better, maybe it's 30%, but I would expect somewhere ballpark around 25%. Now in terms of multi-core performance, I'm pretty confident in saying that it should be a very, very large increase, probably around 74% faster than the 9950X 3D, simply because, again, higher clock speeds, more cores and higher IPC, and there's a lot more cores, so it's gonna be a huge increase. And this is something that just most people are not gonna need. It, even if you're doing like rendering type of workloads and you're doing a bit of gaming on the side, Honestly, this almost is, we're almost getting to a point where it's overkill. This is crazy. But in terms of release date, I am expecting around, based on previous releases, quarter three of 2026. So we are talking about, you know, probably around a year away. At this point in time, things could change. They could fast track it. It could be delayed. But that's what we're talking about right now. So there you have it. There's everything that I know about Zen 6 and the brand new 10950X3, absolute monster CPU that Hopefully we'll have X3D really cache in both CCDs, we'll see. But it's definitely looking very exciting. But hey, that's just why I think, do you think that this CPU really will give you 24 cores and 48 threads and 25% higher gaming performance? Or do you think it's gonna fall short of those expectations? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video.